Vita Bhakasana 2 or Warrior 2 is another standing position that requires a lot from your body. It's lots of different directions and lots of different areas doing lots of different things. <laughs> so to get started we want to start with our hips, or sorry our feet just maybe slightly wider than hip width apart. This back foot is going to remain parallel to the back of your mat, so that's my left foot, whilst my right foot is going to pivot on the heel to have the toes facing the top of the mat. This opens your hips in a completely different direction as to what we were based on everything was in the one direction. We're now facing multiple directions. We want to take a bend through the front leg. If you want to widen your stance, that's okay to do so. Shimmy the back foot back or the front foot forward, whichever is easier for you. We want to bend through this front knee so that your knee is over your ankle. You should hopefully still see your big toe as you look down. And we want to make sure that our knee doesn't travel in or travel out. It remains forward. Now again, our feet should not be on a tight rope. We are on train tracks. So there should be, a, as well as a gap long ways, a gap in between the spacing width ways. Um, the, the aim, and if we're not there yet, that's okay, but the aim is to keep this thigh as straight as possible, almost running parallel to the ground, so that if we got to the stage that we were trying to balance something on it, she says, it wouldn't fall off. Now, when we get our leg position, we want to think about our waist. We want to elongate through our torso, grow out of our side waists, but relax our shoulders down. Our right arm should follow our right leg and face the front while our left arm follows our left leg and goes towards the back. Now we want to almost imagine that our arms are in a tug of war. We don't want to be bringing them close together. We really want to be stretching them out far apart and we want to be keeping them at an even height in their position. We don't want to be lopsided at all. Similarly with our feet, we want to imagine that this foot is trying to grab the mat this way while this foot is trying to grab the mat back the way and they are actively separating. When we are in position, we want to turn our attention and our gaze over our middle finger and sink as deeply as we can into that front leg. This is tricky. <laughs> it's far trickier than it looks and as tricky as it sounds actually. Um, so really our breath is what's going to keep us here. So inhale and exhale, building the strength in our thighs, keeping our torso tight, engaging our abs, ensuring our arms remain at the same height and our gaze is out over our middle finger. When we come back in, we of course have to do the other side. We can rotate this foot forward <clears throat> so it is parallel to the end of our mat. Flip our left foot to the front and in this time we are bending into our left knee. Again, we want to check our torso. We want to make sure that our knee is not splaying. We want to check our torso. Are we growing out of our side waist? Are our ribs flared? If so, tuck them into that waistband, grow out of your neck, your shoulders roll down your back, your left arm comes to the front, your gaze goes over your left middle finger, your right hand travels back the way and we bend as deeply as we can into the left knee. This is called warrior pose, this is building power and you feel it while you're building it. So do not be ashamed of the leg shake or of the breathlessness or <laughs> of how tricky you find to maintain the pose because you are a warrior and it's not supposed to be easy. Breathing in and out, ensuring your breath keeps you in this position. 